Welcome to today's session. It is for the first time that India has been invited to a meeting of Organization of Islamic Cooperation, which is an influential grouping of 57 Islamic countries. The invitation has an immense significance because of the timing. At a time when India is cornering Pakistan on all international forums due to its alleged role in Pulawama terror attack, the invitation of OIC which is the biggest supporter of Pakistan, is a welcoming move. This invitation is seen as a signal of changing geopolitical dynamics. Organization of Islamic Cooperation is a 57-member grouping of Muslim-majority nations. It is the second largest intergovernmental organization after United Nations. It has a membership of 57 states spread over four continents. It has a permanent secretariat in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. The OIC has a permanent delegations to the United Nations and the European Union. The Organization of Islamic Cooperation was established on a decision of a historical summit which took place in the place of Rabat, the Kingdom of Morocco. Its main vision is that it safeguards and protects the interest of Muslim world. Its members are reserved only for the Muslim majority countries. But there are also few non-Muslim majority countries like Russia who hold a observer status. Here, one of the most important thing to note is that India, which has the third largest Muslim population in the world, doesn't hold any observer status. It was Qatar that first proposed observer status for India at the OIC foreigners meet in the year 2002. But Pakistan blocked the move. The 45th session of the OIC was held in Bangladesh and therefore Bangladesh had suggested that India where more than 10% of the world's Muslims live should be given observer status. But Pakistan again threatened to leave OIC if India is given membership. The recent invitation of OIC is a diplomatic victory and a recognition to 185 million Muslim population of India. Now. Let us see the highlights of the meet. Mrs. Sushma Swaraj, in her speech, highlighted the New Delhi's robust economic and security cooperation with numerous members of the 56-member grouping. She also pointed out the senseless terrorist violence which wreaked havoc across the world, including Afghanistan and Bangladesh, without naming Pakistan. Swaraj also noted that the Gulf region besides being a supplier of energy and source of remittances, is a home to more than 8 million Indians. India has been consistently criticized by OIC for its alleged human rights violations in Kashmir. Pakistan, on its part, had objected stating that any country wishing to get observer status should not be involved in any dispute with an OIC member. With India moving to recraft and consolidate its ties with major Muslim countries in the recent years, countries such as UAE and Turkey besides Saudi Arabia have responded to New Delhi's overtures. India's participation in the Abu Dhabi Ministerial Conference therefore must be viewed as a diplomatic opening for a sustained and long-term political engagement of the Islamic world as a collective. With all these happening around, India's observer status at the OIC does not appear to be around the corner. Hope you like the session. Thank you.